happy new year happy 2017 i am in a place i've never been before and i'm going to do something i've never done and that is make a new commitment to this new year i'm going to focus on going to a new community event every single day and i'm starting by kicking off here in detroit michigan i came up last night for the d drop which is something they started uh, just a few years ago with no budget no money no sponsors and it turned into this giant event and as I kick off my new year, I want to be more active. Part of that is how can I get out there and interact with other people where we're actually witnessing change in communities. And I was pretty shocked today because after hearing a lot in the news about Flint, Michigan and all the millions of dollars that the government's invested up there, I thought there's got to be something going on to celebrate the progress of this community and completely shocked when I looked and there's literally nothing going on on the community event calendars for Flint, Michigan today. I have instead found something on Facebook uh, nearby Detroit that is out in a beautiful state park out here. It's like a lot more people are coming to go and, and hike. It's a snowshoe hike, which is what got me interested. The snow is not really here, so I think it's just gonna end up being a three to five mile hike. So I'm gonna go meet some new people. There's Andy and Scott that are out here that have organized this community event and a bunch of people have just left in the trail behind us. Shoe yep. Year's Day hike, very yeah, cool. But yeah, there's no snow out here. So instead it's become what, a three to five mile hike? Yep, New Year's Day hike. So this is a good way to get the community of people out here in Michigan as everybody's being active and moving around. Yep. So Scott's organized this and there's probably what, maybe 50 people that showed up today. Oh, it's a very good about, turnout. Yeah, 50, 50, 60, yeah. Yeah, for anybody to do a community event right off the bat and you know, and have 50 people show up, I think is fantastic. Okay, and then we've got a fire going uh, right behind me as well here. And then some people are coming up on some big bikes, <laughs> the trail bikes. So this is a good place to be outdoors and just enjoy yourself for the new year. Thanks for being here. Have a great day. It is a beautiful day for a walk here. I'm excited for being out here. Get a fresh breath of air for 2017. See more about Michigan because I really haven't spent any time exploring it. So it's cool to get up here in the winter. This is one of those things where I should probably be better at map orientation. Gotta admit, I'm lost. <laughs> so if you're gonna do an event, if you don't have groups of people going out and you expect them to get places just using the map. It's probably a good idea to have really good markers because I didn't really see any. I had to open up Google Maps and cheat a bit. Now I know where I am and headed in the right direction. Yeah. <laughs> so this to me is my peak experience. Everybody's different. Everyone has sort of their own take on what an event's peak experience is going to be for them. But for me, this is it. Look at this view. This is stunning. This is why I came to Michigan to experience this for the start of 2017 and see what this event in this community is all about. And I just met all the folks that are here with us right now. Hey. Hi, I'm Judy. I'm Chris. John. I'm Mary Beth. <laughs> and they all just want to come for a walk too. So here we are. We're meeting each other for the first time. It's a cool community event. And just like all the other community events I'm going to go to this year, exactly what we're doing. We're just meeting new people and having a good time. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And I talked with Scott, who put this event on in his community. And he said he was very apprehensive, that very uh, nervous about you know getting out of his comfort zone. He doesn't like to be on camera. He doesn't uh, see himself much of it as a people person. He's, so he's an introvert, right? But even with him being introverted in his nature, he's willing to do something for his community. And I think that's the biggest piece um, that of anything I could have shown up for, I'm so glad I got to meet him and see what he's doing. I mean, just to just put yourself out there, it's hard for some people to do that. But look what he did. He got 50 people together in his community to go on a walk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Apparently this is the map. Yeah. <laughs> right all right, we found what might be a bear print or a giant snow cat of some kind. There's something there for reference of the size. Oh, this yeah. If we see that, like actually... <laughs> All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to brainstorm with you. How can we make this event more family friendly so that your kids would want to come today? Oh, they would want to come. The length of it, it's not fit for all ages. Right. Unless you're ready to do a little backpack carrying of your kids. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah, there's three options. <laughs> yeah, family friendly. This is definitely family friendly for Michigan, no doubt. We need eight stations halfway through for hot chocolate. Keep you going. More hot chocolate. You sugared up. <laughs> Not just the lure at the end. <laughs> yeah, they definitely have faded up. They really have. Need to be moving faster with chocolate in mind. That kept me, uh, kept me going this last half mile. So yeah. markers would be nice. Those Better are supposed markers. to be coming. Yeah, the markers on yeah. the little. Because we got a little lost. Well. It was an adventure. It was an adventure, yeah. yeah. I like that. That's a good, good way to look at it. It's called Grease Island. It's an Afghan blanket waiting to happen. 
This is an Afghan moment brought to you by Michigan. <laughs> That's right. Michigan dude. There's still ice on the water. I kind of want to walk out and see if I can skate across it, but then I'd probably fall in, so I'm not going to do that today. Another time. Oh. So the girls are taking a risk here, and they're walking across, but I'm a little heavier than they are. See, I don't want to fall through and die. I know, right? This is kind of risky. We're going to do it. I'm going really slow. But we're actually walking on ice in Michigan. How cool is this? Yeah, because I don't know how deep it is. Oh, you guys. If I fall in now, I'm gonna throw the phone, and it's gonna be some epic video footage. This is a trip. I cannot believe I'm out here. January 1st. This is the new peak experience. I'm walking on ice. I don't want to put all that weight in the same area, though. You're fine. Come on, come on. Yeah, something tells me you get three people in the same spot. Probably not a good combination with my weight on top of it. Do we hear any cracking? Only on by you. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was a branch it in. It wasn't the ice, but it did scare me. Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> yeah, let's see that. Need a hand? See <laughs> yeah, how far oh, you can go. Oh, I can't do it. Thank you. Thank you. Calm down. Whoa! <laughs> there goes the split. <laughs> I cannot do the split. Guaranteed. Not gonna happen. Here. So there you have it. Ice skating in Michigan. <laughs> Sand skates. Yeah, if you want to throw an event, hey, it's not that hard. Get something started on Facebook, pick a date, and then you'll just find the right people to build that around there. So I will help you along the way, and I look forward to continuing to chat with you every day. Have a great day.